Beauty and the Beast, an enchanting American fantasy TV series that aired on CBS from September 25, 1987, to August 4, 1990, brings to life a modern retelling of the classic fairy tale. Crafted by author Ron Koslow, the show intertwines the lives of two central characters, Vincent, portrayed by Ron Perlman, a noble yet mysterious man-beast, and Catherine, played by Linda Hamilton, a sharp-witted paralegal in bustling New York City. The series delves into the complexities of relationships and the stark contrast between the bustling metropolis above and the hidden world beneath. Decades later, the legacy of Beauty and the Beast endures, with many cast members continuing their careers while others have passed away. Despite their physical absence, their contributions to the show and cinema at large live on, cherished by fans worldwide. Today, we gather not only to commemorate their memory but also to celebrate the lasting impact they've had on entertainment and the enduring spirit they've left behind. Roy Dotris Roy Dotris, known for his versatile roles in film, television, and theater, did not portray the character Jacob, father, Wells in, Beauty and the Beast. Instead, he took on the role of Maurice, Belle's father, bringing to life the character of an eccentric inventor deeply devoted to his daughter. Dotris's portrayal added warmth and humor to the story as Maurice navigates humorous and perilous situations. Outside of his role in Beauty and the Beast, Dotris also made significant contributions to television, notably in the recurring role of Father Barrett. A Catholic priest, in the Emmy Award-winning series, Picket Fences, 1992. His talent extended to Broadway, where he received a Tony nomination for his performance in A Life, and later won acclaim for his role in the revival of a Moon for the Misbegotten, in 2000. Dotris's career spanned decades, showcasing his remarkable range and skill as an actor. He passed away at the age of 94 on October 16, 2017, in London, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and contributions to the arts. The cause of his death was not disclosed. Rich Brinkley Beauty and the Beast, Rich Brinkley brought to life the character William, a beloved figure within the tunnel community situated beneath the bustling streets of New York City. William embodies compassion and loyalty, serving as a steadfast friend and confidant to Vincent, also known as the Beast, and safeguarding the sanctuary of their underground home. With a gentle demeanor and unwavering integrity, William consistently demonstrates a strong sense of duty, offering support and guidance to his fellow tunnel dwellers during times of adversity. His presence fosters a profound sense of camaraderie and familial bond within the tunnel, highlighting themes of friendship and solidarity that resonate throughout the series. Beyond his role in the series, Brinkley is recognized for his work in other film and television productions, including Mystery Journey, 1997, Cabin Boy, 1994, and The Man with a Red Shoe, 1985. Sadly, Brinkley passed away on November 5th. 2015, in Raleigh, North Carolina, United States. Edward Albert Edward Albert took on the role of Elliot Birch, a captivating and driven businessman whose path intertwines with the hidden world of the tunnel community, led by Vincent, also known as the Beast. Initially propelled by his corporate endeavors, Birch's character experiences a profound transformation as he forges deeper connections with the inhabitants of the tunnel, particularly Catherine, the series' central figure. Throughout the series, his interactions with Catherine and Vincent are marked by a dynamic interplay of tension, collaboration, and personal development, solidifying his significant role within the narrative. Beyond his role in the series, Albert's illustrious career spanned over 130 films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. His notable credits include appearances in Midway, The Greek Tycoon, Galaxy of Terror, The House Where Evil Dwells, and Power Rangers Time Force. Tragically, Albert battled lung cancer, and he passed away at the age of 55 on September 22, 2006. Tony J. Paracelsus, a pivotal character within the show's intricate storyline, Paracelsus emerges as a formidable adversary to Vincent and the tunnel community, harboring a deep-seated grudge against Vincent that stems from their intertwined past. With a cunning and enigmatic demeanor, Paracelsus becomes a symbol of power and control relentlessly pursuing his own agenda throughout the series. Tony Jay's portrayal infuses Paracelsus with a chilling intensity, adding layers of menace and intrigue to the narrative. Beyond his stint in Beauty and the Beast, Jay also delivered a memorable performance as Professor Werner in the 1988 film Twins, serving as a paternal figure to Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Julius Benedict. 
However, Jay's life took a somber turn in April 2006 when he underwent surgery to remove a non-cancerous lung tumor at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Despite the successful surgery, Jay's health deteriorated, eventually leading to his passing on August 13, 2006, at the age of 73. He found his final resting place at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. B. Richards B. Richards brings to life the character of Narcissa, a beacon of wisdom and maternal strength within the story's tapestry. As Vincent's trusted confidant, Narcissa embodies the essence of guidance, offering pearls of insight and unwavering support to him in the tight-knit tunnel community. With a demeanor balancing gentleness and determination, Narcissa stands as a bastion of resilience and empathy, providing a steady hand amidst the trials faced by the characters. Richard's portrayal of Narcissa resonates with audiences, infusing the character with a palpable warmth and depth that endears her as a symbol of hope and empathy in the face of life's challenges. Richard's illustrious career also included notable achievements beyond her role in Beauty and the Beast. She garnered critical acclaim, receiving nominations for an Academy Award and a Golden Globe for her supporting performance in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in 1968. Additionally, she clinched two Primetime Emmy Awards for her guest appearances on the television series Frank's Place in 1988 and The Practice in 2000. Sadly, Richards passed away from emphysema in her hometown of Vicksburg, Mississippi, at the age of 80. James Avery Within the film's intricate narrative, Winslow stands as a beacon of strength and wisdom, offering invaluable guidance and unwavering support to Vincent and his allies. With his commanding presence and compassionate nature, Winslow emerges as a trusted ally in times of hardship, showcasing resilience and integrity in the face of adversity. Avery's portrayal of Winslow resonates with audiences, infusing the character with depth and authenticity that endears him as a symbol of loyalty and solidarity amidst the challenges confronting the tunnel residents. Avery's contributions extended beyond Beauty and the Beast, as he made notable voiceover appearances, including the iconic role of Shredder in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series and James Rhodes' War Machine in the 1990s Iron Man series. Additionally, Avery had the honor of delivering commencement speeches at his alma mater, UC San Diego's Thurgood Marshall College, in both 2007 and 2012. However, on December 31, 2013, Avery's life came to a close at the age of 68 in Glendale Memorial Medical Center, following complications from open-heart surgery. John McMartin John McMartin embodies the character of Charles Chandler, a central figure whose presence weaves into the intricate fabric of the narrative. Charles Chandler is depicted as a person of depth and complexity, exuding traits of authority and ambition within the film's world. As the head of the Chandler family, he holds sway and influence, often finding himself entangled in webs of intrigue and conflict. McMartin's portrayal of Charles Chandler layers the character with a nuanced blend of seriousness and vulnerability, resonating with audiences as a multi-dimensional personality grappling with the nuances of his role in the story. Beyond his role in Beauty and the Beast, McMartin's career included memorable appearances on several television shows. Additionally, McMartin made appearances in four episodes of Murder, she wrote, showcasing his versatility across various genres. In a charming turn, he also played Shirley Jones' love interest in an episode of The Partridge Family titled, When Mom Gets Married. McMartin's journey came to a close in Manhattan on July 6, 2016, when he passed away from cancer at the age of 86. John Lane Jonathan Pope emerges as a mysterious figure, draped in intrigue, thereby heightening the suspense within the narrative. As a member of the tunnel community, he maneuvers through the labyrinthine dynamics of their underground world with a steadfast determination and unwavering resilience. Lane's portrayal of Jonathan Pope breathes life into the character, blending a captivating mix of mystery and complexity, leaving audiences intrigued by a persona holding onto undisclosed secrets and motivations. Throughout the film, Jonathan Pope's character unravels gradually, intricately weaving into the fates of other characters and contributing to the rich tapestry of the story's exploration of love redemption, and the intricacies of the human experience. Outside of his role in Beauty and the Beast, Lane is recognized for his work in several notable films, including The Life of Serpico, 1973, Family Plot, 1976, and Gable and Lombard, 1976. However, his journey in the world of entertainment came to a close on July 6, 2007, in Los Angeles, California, United States. Joseph Campanella
Within the narrative, Peter Alcott emerges as a compassionate and dependable ally to the tunnel community, utilizing his medical expertise to offer invaluable support to those in need. As a dedicated doctor, he navigates the unique challenges of their underground world with unwavering dedication and integrity, often serving as a beacon of hope amidst adversity. Campanella's portrayal of Peter Alcott resonates with audiences, infusing the character with a sense of depth and authenticity that endears him as a symbol of reliability and compassion. Beyond his role in Beauty and the Beast, Campanella's illustrious career garnered recognition and accolades. He received a Tony Award nomination for Best Actor in a Play for his performance in the 1962 production of A Gift of Time. In 1968, he earned a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for supporting actor in a drama series for his role as Wickersham in Mannix. Campanella passed away at the age of 93 on May 16, 2018, at his residence in Sherman Oaks, California, succumbing to complications related to Parkinson's disease. Richard Roundtree Richard Roundtree takes on the role of Cleon Manning, a prominent figure deeply woven into the storyline's fabric. Cleon Manning emerges as a commanding and influential presence within the tunnel community, earning both authority and respect from his peers. As a leader, he confronts the unique challenges of their subterranean existence with unwavering strength and determination, often standing as a steadfast source of support and guidance for those around him. Roundtree's portrayal of Cleon Manning infuses the character with a rich authenticity and depth, captivating audiences and portraying him as a beacon of leadership and integrity. Beyond his role in Beauty and the Beast, Roundtree's talents extended to the realm of voice acting, notably lending his voice to the main character in the PlayStation game, Akuji the Heartless, initially released in 1999. His final cinematic appearance during his lifetime was in the film, Moving On, 2023, where he starred alongside Jane Fonda. Roundtree's life journey reached its conclusion at his residence in Los Angeles on October 24. 2023, as he succumbed to pancreatic cancer at the age of 81. David Graff Character Gregory Coyle emerges as a figure of authority and respect within the tunnel community, commanding attention and admiration among his peers. As an integral member of the community, he faces the challenges of their underground world with a practical yet determined approach, often serving as a beacon of reason and stability amid times of upheaval. Graff's portrayal of Gregory Coyle adds depth and authenticity to the character, earning him the affection of audiences as a reliable and principled individual. Beyond his acting endeavors, Graff is recognized as a dedicated representative of the Screen Actors Guild, SAG. He actively advocated for fair treatment and better working conditions for fellow actors, serving on various committees such as the National Board of SAG, the Television Theater Steering Committee, and the National Disciplinary Review Committee. Graff's efforts were aimed at improving the overall welfare of the acting community, reflecting his commitment to the profession. Tragically, on April 7, 2001, Graff passed away from a sudden heart attack while attending his brother-in-law's wedding in Phoenix, Arizona. Robert Patarelli Patarelli's portrayal of Tony Perota resonated with audiences, bringing vibrancy and authenticity to the character, and endearing him as a figure of resilience and camaraderie amidst the challenges of their underground world. Throughout the film, Tony Perota's character evolved, intertwining with the destinies of other characters and contributing significantly to the exploration of themes such as love, loyalty, and the complexities of the human experience. However, it was his career-defining performance as an amnesiac serial killer in the 1993 slasher mystery thriller, Strike Distance, that left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Patarelli's versatility shown through in films like Eraser, 1996, Michael, 1996, and Modern Vampires, 1998, further solidifying his status as a versatile actor in Hollywood. Despite his success, Patarelli's life tragically came to an end at the age of 49. As he was found dead at his home in Hollywood Hills on March 8, 2004, due to complications arising from excessive drug use. Stanley Kamel George Walker emerges as a figure of intrigue and depth within the tunnel community adding complexity to the storyline. With his portrayal of a cunning and enigmatic individual, Kamel's depiction captures the audience's attention, portraying a character who maneuvers through the underground world with a blend of charm and manipulation. Kamel's portrayal of George Walker resonates with authenticity, drawing viewers into the mystery surrounding the character's motivations and loyalties. Outside of his role in Beauty and the Beast, 
Kamel also left his mark on television, with recurring appearances on popular series like Melrose Place, 1992, and Beverly Hills, 90,210, 1990, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Kamel's life journey came to a sudden end on April 8, 2008, when he was discovered deceased at his home in Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles, following a heart attack. His passing at the age of 65 left a void in the entertainment industry. Robert Cornthwaite Robert Cornthwaite brings depth to the narrative through his portrayal of Morrison, a character revered for his wisdom and experience within the tunnel community. As an elder statesman among the group, he approaches the challenges of their underground world with a calm and measured demeanor, often providing a voice of reason and stability amidst chaos. Cornthwaite's depiction of Morrison exudes gravitas and authenticity, earning him admiration from audiences as a figure of respect and integrity. In his later years, Cornthwaite continued to showcase his talent on both stage and screen. Notable among his stage roles was his appearance in the La Jolla Playhouse production of The Cherry Orchard, where he starred opposite Lynn Redgrave. Cornthwaite passed away at the National Motion Picture and Television Home and Hospital in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California, at the age of 89 on July 20, 2006. His death was determined to be of natural causes. There are also several guest actors who made appearances in Beauty and the Beast, have since passed away. Severn Darden, who portrayed Harper, passed away in 1995. Richard Hurd, known for his role as Richard Barnes, passed away in 2020. Diana Douglas, who played Margaret Chase, passed away in 2015. Ron O'Neill, who portrayed Isaac Stubbs, passed away in 2004. Lastly, Asher Bronner, who played Mitch Denton, passed away in 2021. These actors, though no longer with us, contributed to the richness of the film's narrative with their memorable performances. If you found this information insightful and would like to support my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Your support allows me to continue creating content that celebrates the talents and memories of these beloved actors. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.